Name something that's better than an appetizer. Nothing. Okay, nothing is more magical than eating delicious morsels of food when you're super hungry waiting for your meal. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Today I am taste testing BJ's Brew House's appetizers. I got almost the entire appetizer menu and I'm gonna taste test each item, give you my honest opinion, rate them from one to 10 and let you know if they're worth trying, at least in my opinion. So if you haven't heard of BJ's Brew House, basically it's sort of like a Cheesecake Factory vibe. You know, it's pretty pricey. Pretty fancy, but pretty delicious. Um, I've only had it a few times. And I think I've only taste tested uh, BJ's Brew House one time on my channel. I think I tried their like cheapest items a couple years ago. Well, girl, these items today, they're definitely not cheap. <laughs> Let's talk about the items that I got. I'm so hungry. I just did arm day at the gym. Feeling quite, quite, what is it, swole? Is that the word? So I got the chicken pot stickers, pan seared. Mozzarella sticks. Fried couscous mac and cheese balls. Are you kidding me? I love couscous, that sounds amazing. Loaded nachos, honey sriracha Brussels sprouts. Gotta add a vegetable in there, kind of make things a little lighter, <laughs> make things a little dainty. And then we have BJ's Original Wings, barbecue tri-tip sliders, California club flatbread, avocado egg rolls, and root beer glazed ribs. So this video is obviously gonna be a feast. It's gonna be iconic. Grab a meal, eat with me. But before you start eating, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps my channel out for real. And it's just the easiest way to support my channel. So thumbs up guys. And of course, subscribe. If you're new here, if you love food, you'll love this channel, I promise you. And I'll grow on you. A lot of people tell me, Timmy, you're kind of annoying at first, but then you grew on me and now you're like my fave. So listen, if you don't like me now, you might like me in the future. <laughs> By the way, the other day I made the most delicious pork tenderloin. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, I'm about to make this hoisin glazed pork tenderloin. So if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, basically they're a meal kit delivery service. You pick your meals online or on the app and then they send you all the ingredients and the recipes straight to your door. You cook the meals up. They're always simple to make and they're like genuinely always delicious. That's why I've been eating HelloFresh for years now. <laughs> With the cost of groceries going higher and higher, it's time to try out HelloFresh, guys, for real. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and up to 70% less expensive than eating out at a restaurant. And I know how expensive restaurants can be, guys. My whole job is eating restaurant food. So I just love that HelloFresh saves me money when I'm not filming. They have 40 weekly recipes to choose from. We love variety. There are meals that are perfect for any occasion, lifestyle, just it's super versatile. The ingredients come pre-portioned, so you don't have to think about measuring anything. You can just have fun cooking. And there's also so much less waste because of that. No random like sauces are gonna be rotting in your fridge. You use everything in the bag for that meal. You can also customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides or even adding protein to a veggie dish. And now you can even upgrade to organic chicken or organic beef. Like this is the real stuff guys. And let's be honest, we are all super busy people. Life is insane sometimes, right? Well, HelloFresh saves you so much time. You don't have to meal plan, grocery shop, all that stuff that takes up so much time in your day. You just literally have to read this little page, cook the meal, and that's it. You're also getting seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness. I mean, the ingredients travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. What more do you want? Is it ever enough for you? <laughs> so I think that it's really honestly time to try HelloFresh, guys. Of course, I have a code for you. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 60TIMMY for 60% 60 off plus free shipping, guys. That is a deal, that is a steal. So go check it out. The link is at the top of the description. Okay, let's cook this delicious meal up right now. So we have some pork tenderloins, scallions, green beans, rice, garlic powder, sesame seeds, hoisin sauce, mayo, ponzu sauce, and sriracha. So I'm gonna preheat the oven and wash and dry all the produce. Okay, so I just trimmed my green beans, just the little ends, so cute, right? And now I'm just gonna chop up my green onions. Okay, that's perfection. Now I'm gonna prep our rice. I'm just gonna pour the rice into the little pot. I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna add some salt. 
Okay, plop that in and it is ready to be cooked. Now it's time to make the glaze. I'm just gonna pour the hoisin glaze directly into my little microwave safe bowl here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and some garlic powder, just like that much, perfect. I'm gonna whisk this together. Okay, that looks great, set that aside. And now it is time to prepare the tenderloins. Just get those all nice and dried up. And then I'm gonna grab my little salt and pepper that I set aside here. Go to town. Ooh, that's a little too much, it's fine. I'm gonna like spread it out, don't worry about it. Okay, those are perfect. I'm just gonna sear these on all sides and then finish them in the oven. Gorgeous. Okay, yes. Okay, so these are obviously not cooked through, but I'm just gonna transfer them to a pan with some parchment paper. I'm gonna grab my clean and trimmed green beans. I'm just gonna add some pepper, some salt, and some oil, and I'm just gonna get that all nice and coated. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this into the oven, and then when the pork is almost done, I'm gonna add the glaze. I'm now gonna make the sriracha mayo super quick. I'm gonna add the mayo to a bowl. All the sriracha, because I love a lot of heat and then some of the garlic powder and a little bit of water. Might've been a little too much water, sorry about that, <laughs> but it'll taste fantastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some of this glaze directly onto the pork. And as for the green beans, I'm gonna add my ponzu sauce all over them. I'm just gonna pop this back into the oven until the pork is totally cooked through. And now it's time to plate the food, guys. I'm gonna add more of that glaze and some of this sriracha mayo and some green onions, and some sesame seeds. Mm, I did that. <laughs> it legit tastes gourmet. There's so much flavor in the glaze and the mayo. Guys, try some HelloFresh. Use my code 60TIMMY for 60% 60 off plus free shipping. The link is at the top of the description. Okay, so let's start unboxing all the food. I'm ready. So this is all of it. One second. <laughs> We got all this here, some pizza boxes, and this big bag. Okay, so let us begin. Okay, so I think these are the root beer ribs, or was it Dr. Pepper? I think it was root beer, right? The soda ribs. I love ribs so much, guys, I'm ready. Oh! Oh! That smells very sweet, almost too sweet. I'm kind of nervous now, but wow. The presentation. For takeout, this is honestly stunning. They stacked the ribs like this is a five-star restaurant. I don't deserve this, guys. I don't deserve this treatment. They just honestly kind of smell like caramel, which is very interesting. I'm ready for it. And then we have something in a pizza box. Maybe the flatbread? I'm assuming, but there's two pizza boxes, so we'll see. Yes, it is the flatbread. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. Pretty big size, guys. Look at this. Okay. Very nice. It comes with guacamole, I think sour cream, and what is the salsa? Very interesting combination. I see a lot of chicken. It looks great. Um, I will go into all the toppings and um, all the details about each item as I taste test them. Now, what's in this? Maybe the nachos? Yes! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> wow! 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 That's a lot of nachos, guys. I'm gonna have so many soggy, delicious leftovers. I personally love soggy nachos. I don't know about you. Oh, that smells amazing. It has chili on it. Oh, I'm ready. And the thumbnail's gonna be a gag, too. We love that. And then we have, I think, the wings. So these wings look very interesting. And instead of being, like, totally sauced, they have a drizzle of, like, ranch and buffalo sauce. And, of course, they come with extra sauces, but... They look good and they smell so amazing. Now here's the fried mac and cheese couscous balls. So this is very interesting because I feel like couscous is pretty similar to like a noodle. So it makes sense to kind of make a couscous like mac and cheese. They look so good. They come with some like dipping sauces. We'll see what those are later. And then we have the mozzarella sticks. Ooh. Oh, the odor. Oh, I can tell. But these are going to be good, salty, like, real mozzarella sticks. Just from the aroma, you know? Wow. My mouth just watered. And then we have the honey sriracha Brussels sprouts. Listen, a lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts, but when you cook 
Brussels sprouts the right way and make them like glazed and crispy. Brussels sprouts are the best vegetable. It's just a fact, you know? And if you don't like Brussels sprouts, then you haven't had them cooked correctly. These look cooked correctly. They're like almost burnt. That's the best way to eat Brussels sprouts. Wow. And they smell sweet and nice. Wow. Everything looks so good. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. And then we have the um, pot stickers. I forgot the name. <laughs> pan seared okay look at that crispy bottom wow very nice looks so good it smells like a big green onion i love green onions and then we have the um, avocado egg rolls listen all the fancy places like cheesecake factory um california pizza kitchen they all have avocado egg rolls and People are going to be commenting saying, Timmy, those aren't fancy places. Uh -huh. I know they're not, but they're still expensive. So to me, they're fancy. And here are some more avocado egg rolls. They look fantastic. And then last but not least, we have the tri-tip sliders. I think tri-tip is like a steak, right? So it's like a steak slider. Very interesting. They put the pickles on top so that the bread wouldn't get soggy. Very cute. Let's see the meat. Show me the meat. Is this Arby's or is it not Arby's? Wow, that looks great. Has some barbecue sauce on there too. Okay. Okay, so literally every single item looks incredible. I am so hyped. Um, I'm gonna quickly get my thumbnail and then we'll start taste testing everything. Go it. Okay, besties. So first things first, let's try the nachos. They're just calling to me. It's so huge. It's so massive. So on Uber Eats, they were $14.95. I think that is actually a fantastic price for the amount that you get. Like for real. This could feed three people or maybe one and a half of me. So it says crispy corn tortilla chips, house-made sriracha queso. Yes. Melted jack plus cheddar cheese, house-made guacamole, sour cream, fire roasted salsa, jalapenos, pico de gallo, and piranha pale ale chili. Okay. So let's eat it! Oh my god, I'm ready. Let's try it. Oh my god. Wow. Very interesting. Was not expecting that at all. Wow. Okay. Hello, sir. More jalapenos, guys. Oh, it's getting too heavy. One more. Are you kidding me? It fell on my chair, not the floor, don't worry. Wow. So, these nachos are amazing. Like, fantastic. It's so interesting because they really do have a beer cheese flavor. But I think that flavor is coming from the pale ale chili because i think pale ale is beer right I don't, I don't know but it adds such a rich deep flavor to the chili and i love that this chili has beans a lot of chili doesn't especially like chili that goes like um, onto nachos but this chili does amazing the melted cheese is fantastic there's a lot of it um i couldn't taste the queso that much but i did taste a hint of sriracha so it was definitely there just not super strong um, the pico de gallo tastes fresh. The pickled jalapenos are so tart and so fantastic and so crunchy. These are just fantastic nachos. Mmm. But there's one con. The chips taste a little too oily for me. Just a hint. But otherwise, these are perfection. So I'm giving these a 9 out of 10. One point off for the oily chips. But amazing. Iconic. 
Such a good start to the video, guys. Let's now try the ribs. These are the root beer ribs, I think, right? Root beer glazed ribs. They're $14.25. I feel like that's a normal rib price. Ribs are pricey, you know, but still, it is pricey. Hello. Um, it says five slow roasted baby back pork ribs, BJ's handcrafted root beer glaze, spicy sriracha slaw, and green onions. Okay, let's first try a rib by itself. I'm so hyped. <gasps> These are stunning. Look at that. Wow. I'm excited. <gasps> I don't want to get that messy, guys. I have a beard now, so. <laughs> Mmm. Let's try the spicy slaw. The slaw is too sour for me. Oh, I don't like that. I won't be eating that. Sorry. One more! Hmm. There was a lot of fat in that bite. A lot of fat. It's fine. Okay, let me slow down because I have a lot to eat. Oh my god. Oh, nothing! Okay. Oh my gosh. So, I do have some very good pros, but there are a lot of cons too. The ribs, to me, are too bony. They don't have enough meat on them. And for that price, I feel like they should have a lot of meat on them. Also, they did have quite a thick layer of fat on them too. So not a lot of meat, a little too much fat, too much bone. Also, these aren't fall off the bone tender, but they're tender enough, okay? I do like it when like um, the meat just like separates from the bone like automatically. These don't, like the meat's kind of stuck on the bone, but it's fine. Anyways, the pros. The flavor is fantastic. Now they are very sweet ribs because of the root beer. So they do have a hint of root beer flavor, but they mostly just taste almost like caramelized ribs, like very sugary, sugary, buttery, buttery flaky, crispy ribs. And I feel like maybe if I ate all of them, it would possibly get too sweet. But the two that I ate, I really enjoyed the sweetness, even though they are very, very, very sweet. The sauce is a very nice, sticky sauce. It just like holds on to the ribs well. Um, but also that's, that slaw is disgusting. It just tastes like pure, pure vinegar to me. I didn't like that at all. So overall, the quality of the ribs could be meatier, could be better, but the flavor is fantastic. So I'm giving these ribs a nice seven out of 10. I think that's fair. Okay. Next up, let's try the pot stickers. I have sticky hands, but I'll clean my phone after I film. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so the, the chicken pot stickers were $13.45. I think that's very overpriced because pot stickers are just like very dainty. Like it's like eating air, you know? Pan seared dumplings, chicken, ginger, garlic, yellow chives, green onions, soy, ginger sauce, and sesame seeds. Okay, let's open up this sauce. Ooh, that smells strong. I like that. Here's the pot sticker. Let's try it first by itself and then with the sauce. Ooh, the sauce is good. Very sour, very tart. Really nice, strong soy sauce flavor. The sauce is fantastic. Hmm, that is not one of the best pot stickers that I've had. To be honest, it's actually quite mediocre. It does taste like a classic pot sticker, but just all the flavors are just kind of turned down. So the ginger's there, but it's very tame. The garlic's there, but it's very tame. The green onion's there, very tame. And it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It actually reminds me of P.F. Chang's frozen 
uh, chicken pot stickers, like from like the store. And those are much cheaper than these ones. So I would not recommend getting these. I just think if it's going to cost that much, it better be amazing and not basic. And this is actually very basic. But wait, pause. They are not disgusting. They're good. They are pot stickers. I love pot stickers, but they're just not nearly the best that I've had. So I'm going to have to give them, I think, a 4.5 out of 10. I think that's fair. Wow. Okay, next up, let's try this flatbread. So, this looks fun. This is called, one second, the California Club flatbread. It was $13.95. I guess that's fine. It's big enough, right? Um, so it has grilled chicken, applewood smoked bacon, seasoned tomatoes. Oh, we love a seasoned tomato. BJ Signature Five Cheese Blend, avocado, and a drizzle of roasted garlic aioli. Love, love any kind of garlic aioli. It's always amazing. So let's hope this lays me. That's how it looks. Let's first try it by itself and then with all these sauces. Okay. Okay, let's try it with the guacamole. Love guacamole so much. This guacamole doesn't have any, any flavor. It might just be mashed up avocado. Okay, let's try it with whatever this is. What is this? Some sort of salsa, we love that. Good salsa, just too watery, but very nice fire roasted um, tomato flavor and sour cream. Okay, love sour cream so much. Mmm, I actually like it best with the sour cream. So this is just all right. There's an oceanic flavor to it. <laughs> like, I don't know if Ariel made this, but something oceanic is happening and it might be from the avocados. Sometimes avocados that aren't totally ripe can have like an oceanic scent and flavor to them, which I'm not a fan of. So there's that. And the garlic aioli is not garlicky enough. It's just more aioli than garlic, if that makes sense. But it isn't bad. Um, the chicken actually tastes good. It tastes like nice seasoned grilled chicken. And then everything else just kind of tastes like a typical flatbread. Like um, the five cheese blend tastes very uh, Parmesan-y, kind of pecoro <laughs> pecor <laughs> pecorino-y. <laughs> and um, I liked the cheese because it did like come through. It wasn't just like bland. But overall, the flatbread is a bit underwhelming to me. I just feel like all the flavors should be stronger. Now, it isn't bad. Once again, it's just not like a home run. It's just a little like something's missing, you know? So I think I'm gonna give the flatbread a six out of 10. It's good enough, but it's just not great. Next up, let's try the Brussels sprouts. Okay. So we have a sauce here. The honey sriracha Brussels sprouts were $8.75 on Uber Eats. It says crisp, lightly fried Brussels sprouts, big Papa Smoker's Desert Gold Seasoning, and sweet sriracha crema. Okay. So let's just first try by itself and then with um, the crema. Looks so seasoned and nice. With the sriracha cream. Mmm. 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 I can't stop. Mmm. Mmm. 
for a vegetable. This is amazing. Just truly phenomenal. Mm. One more. So, the Brussels sprouts themselves are cooked to perfection. The inside is still quite crunchy and tastes like a fresh Brussels sprout. And then the outside is very charred, very um, broiled, you know, and crispy and almost burnt tasting, but not too much. Perfectly cooked. The seasoning on them adds so much flavor, saltiness, but not too much. And there's like a garlickiness in there that's like strong and it works so well. And then this um, sriracha crema is fantastic. It is more sweet than it is sriracha and it's like really not spicy at all, but the sweetness works so well with the Brussels sprouts and it's just the perfect combination. This is genuinely amazing, like amazing. Mmm. Wow, I'm giving the Brussels sprouts a 10 out of 10. Amazing. Next up, let's try the mozzarella sticks. Oh, I'm excited for these, guys! Let's see the price and everything. The mozzarella sticks were $11.75. It says garlic butter breading. Okay, that sounds amazing. Parmesan cheese, San Marzano marinara. Okay. Let's open this marinara up. The little garnish they put, that is so cute. Ooh. <laughs> Let's um first try by itself and then with the marinara. Mm. Go. Yeah. The marinara is a little too basil for me. I love basil, but when basil totally takes over a marinara sauce, I'm like, it's too much. But, it tastes fresh though. So that's good. Oh my god. Ah! These mozzarella sticks are fantastical! They are so good. I don't taste the um, garlic butter in the breading, but it still just tastes like very crispy, good, standard breading. We love that. It isn't too thick, it isn't too thin, it isn't cakey. It's just a really strong breading. And then the cheese on the inside is fantastic. It tastes like high quality in the same way that like Cheesecake Factory's mozzarella sticks do. But it's a little less salty, which kind of worked for me because um, sometimes Cheesecake Factory's mozzarella sticks can get too salty, but this didn't. It had that real mozzarella texture, um, almost creamy, you know, just, Amazing, amazing, amazing. One more little bite. It's so fun to bite into because the inside's so creamy, outside's so crispy, so satisfying. Wow. I'm giving them a 9.5 out of 10. 0.5 off for the marinara. It's just a little too, too much, but amazing. Next up, let's try the tri-tip sandwiches or um, sliders, I mean. Ooh. Honestly, like eating steak always makes me feel so manly. <laughs> I love it. The barbecue tri-tip sliders were $13.95. It says marinated slow roasted sliced sirloin, sweet tangy BJ's peppered barbecue sauce, barbecue ranch, fluffy mini buns served with sliced dill pickles. Okay. So there's ranch in there too. We love that. Okay. Go in here. You can see all the delicious steak and the sauce and the ranch is underneath. Let's add a pickle. Love pickles. Let's try this tri-tip situation. Arby's is shaking, guys. Mmm. 
Mm. Mm. Let me try the meat by itself. Mmm. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Brew House! Wow. First of all, the bun itself is toasted to perfection. It adds a nice crispy, almost slightly burnt barbecue flavor. Love that. The pickle tastes fresh and crispy, and it actually kind of tastes kind of sweet, almost like a bread and butter pickle, but very good. The barbecue sauce tastes like perfect barbecue sauce, sweet, tangy. And there's some smokiness in the back of my throat. I love that. Um, the ranch tasted good, creamy. Now the steak is fantastic. A lot of times like sliced up steak can be very chewy, very hard to eat. This is so tender. It is so easy to chew through. There's no fat. It's very lean, at least the bites that I got, no fat. No um, cartilage. We don't. We don't know her. I don't want like you know a cow's ear in my <laughs> in my sandwich. It's juicy. It's seasoned. It's just fantastic. Almost like brisket, but like without any fat. Just amazing steak, and everything works so well together. It's just a fantastic little slider. I love it so much. Wow. Usually, like steak sandwiches aren't my thing, but this really is. I'm giving this a ten out of ten. Wow! We have three items left, guys. We have the wings, the couscous mac and cheese balls, and the avocado egg rolls. Let's try the avocado egg rolls. Oh, I'm ready. That smells like a plant. Ooh, I hate it. It smells like dirt. Oh my God, what is that? I didn't order that. that. That is not my brand. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the avocado egg rolls were $13.75. It says avocado cream cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, red onion, cilantro, chipotle peppers, and sweet tamarind dipping sauce. Oh, it's tamarind! Guys, Alejandro, my bae, is from um, Cuba, and he loves tamarind. I think it's like a little, like, fruit, nut-looking thing that you eat, and I've never liked it, so I think that's why I don't like the sauce, but let's just, let's try it still. But let's first try this by itself. How it looks on the inside. Very beautiful, very nice. Uh-huh. Let's try it with the sauce, even though it's, it's gonna ruin it. This tastes like sugar. Don't want that. But. Mm. Look at this, guys. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, one more bite. Oh my goodness! The cream cheese with the avocado. What a combination. The cream cheese adds a tartness to the avocado that is almost like subtle. It almost like blends into the avocado and it just almost turns into like a cream cheesy avocado paste. It's very cohesive. It just becomes one thing and it's a delicious thing. So the texture is just super creamy and amazing on the inside. Now flavor wise, the main flavors here are chipotle. I, I love chipotle pepper so much. Chipotle and like, there's a sweetness in there that really works with the chipotle and the creaminess. It just has so much flavor. It's beautiful. Like it's beautiful to eat, to, like to be honest. Oh my God. The sauce to me just tastes like earthy sugar. Don't like that. The filling is groundbreaking. The um, outer wrapping is very crispy, not oily. It's just amazing, like genuinely fantastic. Wow. I am giving the avocado egg rolls a 10 out of 10. There's been a lot of 10 out of 10s today, guys. Like BJ's Brewhouse has some amazing appetizers. So we have two left. The chicken wings and the mac and cheese balls. Let's let's do the chicken wings now. 
I love chicken wings. I'm excited. So BJ's original wings are $15.95. Slow roasted bone-in wings drizzled with hot and spicy buffalo sauce plus ranch. Extra sauce served with celery sticks and ranch for dipping. I love that it's ranch and not blue cheese. Like, thank you. Oh, that ranch smells amazing. Okay. So let's first try the wings by itself and then with the sauces. There it is. Just a nice drizzle. Let's try it. Now, this meat falls off the bone. The ribs need to learn something from her. Oh my goodness. So much meat! Wow! Let's try one with the sauces. I'm gonna just do both. Why not? Okay. Mm. Mm. These wings have so much meat on them. Like so much, it's like a mouthful. And the meat falls off the bone probably because it's slow cooked. There's a piece of wing stuck in my tooth and it's like hurting my tooth right now. It's fine. Um, they are very crispy on the outside. Um, they do have a nice light seasoning, very peppery, salty, a little bit of garlic maybe. It is simple, but it works because like the meat is just so tender and amazing. And then the drizzle of the hot sauce with the ranch is perfection. They do taste even better with the extra sauce, so I'm glad that they come with it. But um, even just like on their own, it's it's that little hint of buffalo and that hint of ranch just works so well. It's just very subtle, very nice, and they definitely have an enough flavor overall. They're just really good, simple buffalo ranch wings. One second, I have to get this out of my tooth because it's like making my tooth feel like it's being squished. What is happening? Okay, I just lost it out. We're good. Are they like the best wings I've ever had? No, but they are very strong, very fantastic. I'm giving them a nice nine out of 10. Iconique. So last but not least, guys, we've gone through all these appetizers, wow. And I'm really not too full this time. I really tried to pace myself and calm down, and now I'm gonna have tons of leftovers, so we love that. Okay, so the fried couscous mac and cheese balls are $8.95. It says pearl couscous, jack plus cheddar cheese sauce, applewood smoked bacon, tomatoes, tomatoes, wow, green onions, basil, okay, coated in panko breadcrumbs, and they come with sriracha aioli and house-made sriracha queso. Oh yeah! Ooh, two sauces, we love that. This is the queso. And that's the aioli, that's a lot of aioli, guys, wow. Okay, so let's just first try them by themselves. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, oh my God, the couscous is are so pretty! Wow, look at that. Okay, let's try it. Oh. <laughs> Let's try with the queso. Better. And the aioli. Better. That aioli is really good. Um, that was disappointing. To be honest, I expected the couscous to be much more cheesy, you know, much more like mac and cheese. But instead, it just kind of tastes like dry, seasoned couscous. It is seasoned well, but there's no moisture in there. Now, this queso really does help. It's delicious. 
There's a hint of sweet sriracha in there. And it does add the cheesiness that it needs, but still, I just don't love it. I feel like it's just too dry, and the basil kind of makes it taste like some sort of fried, just like Italian pasta, and not like fried mac and cheese, you know? It really changes the vibe, and I don't like that very much. And um, the tomatoes also change the vibe. It's almost like fried pasta salad or something like that. That is the vibe that it's giving me. They are crunchy, so that's good. They have nice breading, but I just don't like the filling very much. But the dipping sauces are it. So sadly, we ended on, on a sour note, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to give the mac and cheese couscous fried little ball things um, a 4 out of 10. They're not disgusting, but they're just not that good, to be honest. So, Meh. This taste test was legit so much fun. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried BJ Brewhouse's appetizers? If you have, which have you had? And which is your favorite? If you haven't, which looks the best to you? Um, also, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Guys, go check them out. The link is at the top of the description, okay? Subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.